Hey guys, Matt Barling with Central Niag. Today I'll be walking you through how to change your hydraulic remotes flow and timers on your Steiger tractors. So the first thing we'll do is turn the tractor on. And we'll wait for our Pro 700 monitor to power up. So we'll acknowledge any uh, pop-ups that come up. And then from our main run screen, we'll go ahead and press the back button. And we'll go into our remote valves function right here. So on this first tap down here, we can change our flow rates for remotes one through four. In order to change the flow rate, all we have to do is click on one of these white boxes for extend or retract, and we can arrow left or right to change our flow rate. Like I said, that works on either side. If we're wanting to change a timer, so a remote will shut off after a certain amount of time, we need to go into the timer tab down here. And here on this screen, we can now change the amount of seconds that that remote will run until it shuts off. If we want no timer to be active, all we need to do is click the center box here, and that will X out the timer to where the, the remote will run all the time. If there's any instance where you need to lock out a remote so a remote will not function at all, we can go to the lock tab down here and then click on the boxes to lock out a remote completely. So that would be how we would set remote timers, flows, and lockouts in a Pro 700. 